uh, I was once confronted by a physicist who said to me uh, in a social setting, uh, is, is economics, um, do economists know anything? Oh, I was, it, it, he said it like it was a real question. I thought, I thought he was being sarcastic. Uh, he wasn't. Uh, I said, I started to answer and everything I said to him, pretty much his response was, well, that's obvious. Or, well, that's just common sense. And then finally, uh, he said, when I say no anything, I mean like, like where's Mars going to be on June 17th, 2028? Because that's what physicists know things like that. And they know other things too, but that's one of the things they know. And I said, well, I, don't, I actually don't think we know anything remotely like that, like what interest rates are going to be in a year or six months. We, we don't know whether people will, uh, how many cars people will buy if we put a tax, a larger tax on automobiles, but but I do know that they'll buy fewer. And he said, well, well of course, that's obvious. So I, I kind of got myself into um, uh, a little bit of a corner. And finally, I told him about emergent order and the idea that things, uh, there's complexity in human affairs, much of which appears in, say, how prices form. And he said, well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of as far as I got. And and, it, and to some extent, I think the idea of market forces and emergent order is much of what we know in economics. And I would add the depressing addition that much of the published research in economics is not good for much. It has no enduring quality. It will not change people's lives. It does not enrich your understanding. It's um, intellectual golf to some extent.